Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we are back in Steampunk. And uh, I gotta do something real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's go down here. We're gonna put in caps so people see it for sale. All right, so you might be wondering why our house is for sale. Well, it's because we moved. We moved in between episodes. So I liked our little house. Um, and, you know, I liked our little island and everything like that. But I don't know. I just, I, I felt that if we were going to really get into the, the quest book, which we need to do and everything else, we were definitely going to need more space. Um, plus, like I said, this is a cute little thing. Oh, I almost forgot our chair. i take our chair with us. Um, you know, I I, uh, I felt we were just going to need more room and, and more space and something that, that just fits the feel a little bit more. So as you can see, for the most part, I have cleared out all of the important stuff from our home. Um, and yeah, so this house is for sale. Just saying, if you're a Patreon, so, you know, if somebody comes on here, if you become a Patreon, uh, you can get on this server and you can come here. I'll, do, I'll, I'll even do this. Let's do this. What's the button? Is it this one? No, that's not it. Is it this one? No, that's not it. Those aren't even close to the buttons. There we go. Uh, take a screenshot here. There is the uh, XYZ right there. Negative 343, 85, uh, 576. So if you become a, uh, a patron and you guys want to uh, have this home and have this area, it's right here. If you guys go back to the first episode, I believe we came from that direction as spawn. So... Anyways, without further ado, let's head to our new home. Now, I did some exploring because I was kind of looking for some different things. And when I mean different things, I mean onions. And uh, yeah, let's go right here. I'm going to teleport right here. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't put stairs in yet. Um, and if we look in the book, right under overworld all of this here are different locations that we can find in the overworld so uh an enchanting tower uh, a wizard's tower uh, a tinker's workshop that one's important so we've only found three of the different places that are in this world and when i found this place i was like oh yeah that's the place that's where we need to live this my friends is our new home. So let me give you a little bit of a tour. As you can see, it still kind of has that island feel. Um, I put a protective wall and torches around us. We have a much more elaborate farm, which works out well for the season. So you can see we've got, you know, carrots, beetroots, and potatoes, which are going to be kind of your vanilla stuff back here with uh, wheat. Uh, we do have our, our tall crops. We got industrial hemp. And we've got corn with some area here. And then we've got our Farmer's Delight stuff here. We've got cabbage, onions. I found onions. They were in a village. And tomatoes. We got ourselves some reeds and some rice I found in that same... Uh, in that same... Uh, God, this stuff taking forever to grow. Uh, village. Um, we got our cocoa beans up. We've got our little thing here. You can see we come around. It's a very small backyard. Um, and we've got some trees going here. And uh, I'll show you about this here in just a second. Oh, and we also have our uh, sweet berry bushes there. So if we come up, you'll see there's a lot of stuff on the walls. I left this as it is. We will be taking all this stuff. But that stuff was there. Uh, we have a ladder that really just leads up to the roof. I guess this could kind of be a balcony, but yeah, it just, this is naturally here. This is a copper ladder. So, you know, fancy. Uh, we got a little work area out here. This hand crank with the mechanical press and the depot and even this sheet was already here. So that's awesome. And I moved all of our machinery and other things. We'll go through that. 
and this kind of comes around back out to this area so we got a little outside workshop and then we come into our main indoor part very open we got ourselves like a back porch we can sit out here we can ponder and whatnot this just wraps around the side to another staircase and then in here we have our main work area so you can see i moved everything and i went with barrels over chests and this is kind of cool because we just kind of hover over things we can see what's in it that's pretty neat um here is our kitchen and i actually put the skillet handle it's in the wall so that's kind of nice you can kind of see it right there so now it's not sticking out and in our way but we got all this set up and then here is our food. We got all of our meat, our our wheat, our gluten. This is a gluten party in here. Uh, we got our vegetables. We got kind of prepared stuff, uh, you know, different random things. Uh, here is kind of miscellaneous fruits and, and sugar and, and stuff like that. And then down here we have uh, more miscellaneous stuff. So these two are kind of miscellaneous. Uh, you can see how we have these item shelves everywhere that, once again, I left those up so you guys can see them. Um, and then just, you know, random barrels. There's barrels in the build all over the place, like right here and right here. So, you know, aesthetic, you know, function and, uh, you know, and everything else. So, all right, let's head upstairs. Now, this place originally just had a very vaulted ceiling with... Um, uh, beams in it here so I added this wood and basically made just like a large room up here that I should probably put a few more torches in now that I think about it um but yeah this was just part of the ceiling I haven't decided if I this was here all of the the oak that you're seeing is what I put in but this was all up here so we got ourselves a fancy bed we've got ourselves a clock you can see more stuff on the walls uh, this is actually where I had moved our food, but I have taken that out since we got this little area with a scary little I guess it's not too bad. It's onto another roof and then if we come up here We got a nice view of the surrounding area that is a Pillager house right there. So we got neighbors, but check this out guys watch this Can you see the rope moving? It's hard to do this and but if we look it's pulling up this thing up here. It's kind of cool. Now, the problem is there's no entryway into it, so we can't really get into it, and I don't know how we would use this as an elevator anyways. Let's get this just a little bit higher. All right, and if we come down here, oh, oh we got we to gotta make it a little bit lower. We're going to get this right. We're going to get this right. Ready? And then I think we shift. Let's try that. Uh, maybe a little bit more, but you can kind of see it's supposed, it's supposed to be like an elevator. Um, you know, but maybe there's a way to automate it. And then, oh, I hear mobs. And then, uh, yeah, we have this little area here. We've got these, uh, what are these, like flywheels? Just kind of adorning it, just kind of, you know, for looks and whatnot. So, so yeah, this is, uh, this is our new home. Um, and I kind of dig it now. We have some downstairs too, kinda. So we have this, and I just think this looks cool. But this is somewhat our mine. So you can kinda see it is very, I, and honestly, I haven't really done much down here. Um, you know, it kinda goes to here. I think it's like aesthetically pleasing. Uh, we can go up here, but yeah, once again, just, just kinda, sticking with and this whole place seems a lot more steampunky to me right and then we do have a ladder going down somewhere around here where to go i know there's another ladder why is it can i not find it right here all right now i came down here once before and uh yeah there are a whole lot and I honestly, I haven't gone down. This shot a bunch of arrows at me. There is a spawner over there. There is what appear. Ooh, God. Something shot me. What is that, dude? 
What are you, fella? Hi. Yeah, so the spikes are a little forgotten. The forgotten. I have not gone over there. I think first and foremost, oh, we got to get rid of some of these because these are freaking me out. All right, let's get rid of these. Um, we need to get a, a, a torch over there. That's for sure. Um, oh, those guys are scary. I don't know what this does. There's like spitting spikes down there. So yeah, this is under our house. It's a little bit spooky. But uh, I don't know. It just, I feel it kind of go like aesthetically. It goes with the whole whole thing we do have a lot of andesite casings down here um and whatnot so pretty cool i like it i dig it i don't come down here a lot but you know i get a feeling you guys are gonna want me to so yeah so this is basically our home um now i don't know if this pack has elevators i don't think it does uh, it has an elevator pulley, but no elevators themselves. That would be kind of nice. But I'm really digging it. We have a lot more space to get into some things, and I'm and I'm I'm very very excited about that. And I'm thinking we're gonna take our chair, and we're just gonna stick it. Maybe we'll stick it here on the front porch, like right here, and then we can just kind of look out over our land. I dig that. All right, so a um, couple of mods I want to get into, and I really do want to get into the book here, would be, uh, let's see, we got Create is definitely one I'm going to want to get into. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff here. And then um, get into Immersive, because I haven't really played with Immersive in quite a while. I don't know what's changed, if things have changed, but I would love to make like the squeezer and the fermenter. Ooh, razor wire. That's pretty cool. Get a water wheel going and, and things along those lines, I think would look really, really cool here. Like maybe we get like a water wheel going like on this guy here or something. Maybe we get it going on this here. We take out some of the wood and make this a big water wheel. I think that'll be be really, really cool. So, all right. So, um, let's go ahead. Create makes me more nervous. So, let's actually start there. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, what it wants us to start with, before we even get anything, uh, Create is a mod offering a variety of tools and blocks for building, decoration, and whatnot. So, we're going to do that. It's going to give us a sweet berry cookie and a thing of milk. You know, who doesn't like that? Uh, obtain, obtain andesite alloy. I think we've found very much. Let's have our cookie. And let's have some milk. Oh, that's, that, 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 that's good right there. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Andesite alloy. We have gotten some. Nice. All right. So let's pop back in here and let's see where this wants us to go. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and see if we can get ourselves some of the tools. Let's get ourselves the engineer's goggles. So we're going to need glass. We're going to need uh, gold plates and we're going to need string. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little bit of gold. We'll grab like two. Um, and then we come over here. And I think we're kind of doing this out of order, but that's fine. Uh, we put those on. We spin the thing. It does its thing. I don't know if we had to do it twice or not, but we did. Now we got two gold sheets. Uh, do we have any glass made? We do. Look at that. Exactly enough. And string. I'm still not a thousand percent great with uh where i put everything at so there's that and that and now we have ourselves some goggles we take this guy off and we put those there and now 
we can't. Uh, oh, look at that. They're above our eyeballs, finally. Yay! They used to be right over them. So. All right, so now we have the goggles. The goggles are used for when you're looking at anything, how much energy it's producing. Uh, you can see that uh, right up there. See where it says hand crank and whatnot? So that's what that is. All right, uh, so we got ourselves some glasses. That gives us a copper ingot. Not bad. All right. Uh, super glue, we're going to need, we're going to need. So it's going to be slime, iron ingot. Now, do I have slime? Let's find out. Uh, I have two. Okay, this is getting creepy because I have not been planning this. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves some nuggets. Hope I don't need to slime anytime soon, but I can go get more. Uh, nope, I think it was like this. All right, so there's that, there's that, and there's the iron sheet we got from earlier, and now we have some glue. Sweet. All right. That takes care of that, and that gives us, well, more glue. Now we're going to make ourselves the wrench. So this is going to be a stick, a cogwheel, and three gold plates, and we currently have one, so we'll grab a couple more pieces of gold. Now, don't forget, guys, we have a few things I still need to cook up in here. And I'll figure out a mine. I don't know if I'm going to mess up the weird stuff downstairs for uh, our mine. I might just make something, say, right here or something like that that just goes straight down, maybe past all that stuff so we can kind of keep all that intact. Um... I just think that would be overall better. So, all right, and then let's go ahead and well, there we go. We got a we got a, a cog wheel here. I th there's probably a craft one. Um, oh, it wants us to make eight, which so we still will. We still will. I just want to make this real quick. So it was. I do need a stick. Uh, let's grab a stick. All right, there we go. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it went a little something like this. There we go. We got ourselves a wrench. Nice. All right. So that's taken care of. No reward for that. And then a toolbox holds 256 items per slot, retains inventory when broken. Nearby builders can hold the key bind to open it remotely. Uh, let's see. Brown toolbox. So we're going to need leather. We're going to need another cogwheel. We're going to need some more of the gold things here so let's do that uh, 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 uh let's see all right and we'll do that so yeah having this here has been definitely a big find not that it's that difficult to make it's just it's already here it's already set up it's pretty nice you know uh, let's see. We needed another cogwheel. Do we have any out here? We do. Perfect. And then we're going to need leather. This is where I got to remember where I put stuff. Uh, perfect. We got leather here. All right. And let's see. And I think a chest. Uh, let's see if we can use a jungle chest. All right. There's that. There's that. I am not remembering here. Let's let's do this. Uh, tool box. Uh, I just I just want a just a regular toolbox. Okay. All right. Uh, pink. There we go. And we now have a toolbox, which is always nice. We can set this here. We can open it up, and we can you know put our glue in there. We can throw our wrench in there, and there we go. All right, and then we can just pick it up. And then I think, uh, let's see, uh, 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 holds a large amount of eight different item types. Okay, and we could use that for like when I go mining as well. It's not too bad. So, all right. Um, so we have gotten the the absolute basics down, um, and now it wants us to start making some of the items so let's go ahead and start seeing what we can get into so a hand crank we'll go ahead and make this even though we uh we have one out there it doesn't hurt for us to have another one um so let's go ahead and grab this uh, we'll go like that 
and we'll go like that and there we got ourselves a hand crank all right and then let's see this no reward um and then it wants us to make these and this is just uh shafts and wood right yeah 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 so this is gonna be pretty easy so there's that and there's that and it makes eight which is exactly what the quest wants so that works out as well all right we'll go ahead and see that gives us some more of those uh let's see what else does it want to craft a item vault vaults are used for automatic storage and retrieval of large amounts of items they cannot be manually accessed however automate all right i've never used one of these okay so it's just a barrel with a couple of iron plates. Let's do a uh, wonder over this. Okay, item walls can be used to store large amounts of items. Gotcha. Uh, however, contents cannot be added or taken manually. So you can any, okay, transfer, insert, okay. And then we can extract out of it, okay. All right, good to know, good to know. Okay, so um, what was that to make it? I already forgot. Uh, let's see, uh, a barrel and two iron sheets. Let's go ahead and grab, let's go ahead and grab, we'll grab eight. Um, and then we're gonna throw these on there. <clears throat> we'll make a couple. put those back on all right there's that and then a crate i might actually have an extra of there we go a barrel i mean all right there's that and that and that gives us this all right and then we can claim this and then just for fun i'm going to set this out here just a little two by two of it just because it looks cool all right there we go okay so there we go guys we have ourselves a new homestead um very big fan of what we've got let me know what you guys think um and yeah we got we got like food production going um i still need to do some aesthetic stuff out here like uh make stairs because this is just a drop here um, but yeah, I'm very happy with, uh, with what we got and we are getting into the crate mod where we're going to pick up next time. So, all right, guys, well, there we go. I'm going to just, uh, sit here for a second. There we go. Let's get a, just a good view of Modi sitting in a chair. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, just keep watching the videos. Nothing more important than that. Uh, like, subscribe, share them on, on social medias, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell the, your weird Uncle Joe. Um, and uh, yeah, if you really want to help support not only the channel, but me and my family, you can do that by becoming a Patreon. Uh, you get access to eight Minecraft servers, hang out in our Discord, be in our Saturday streams, and all of that fun stuff. So go check that out. And lastly, if you guys want to get your own server, head on over to Host Havoc. Use the link down below. That way they know you're coming from one of my videos. And until next time, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.